Welcome back to stage 2 of the Mirage GT build video series. In this video, we're going to be installing our cooling system, which includes fitting our radiator, top and bottom radiator hoses and heater pipes. As usual, a full list of the torque settings for this video can be found on our website using the link in the description below. Now that our prop shaft and gear linkage system have been installed on the chassis, it's time to connect up the cooling system. We're going to start by installing the radiator, which is secured in place using the four rubber mounts provided. Before installing the radiator, it's important to check that the two fan cables are positioned facing towards the center of the radiator. This will allow us to connect them to the corresponding section of our wiring loop. We're going to tilt our radiator at a slight angle in order to lower it into position. Notice how the radiator is positioned with the fans facing inwards, towards the engine. Once lowered roughly in place, we're going to start fitting our rubber mounts. Once our bottom two rubber mounts are in place, we can now lift our radiator into position and secure the rubber mounts loosely in place for now. When fitting the top rubber mounts, be sure to position the larger of the two washers on the outside of the chassis, with the smaller washer on the inside of the radiator, like so. Once in position, we can now torque up all four of our rubber mounts. With our radiator now secured tightly in place, we can now connect up our two fan connections to the wiring loop. It's now time to start assembling our top and bottom radiator hoses. Our top radiator hose consists of three 45 degree silicon hose bends, two aluminium joiners, one BMW hose end, and one hose joiner with temperature sensor fitting. We start by using the two aluminium joiners to connect our three sections of hose together. Once connected, we're going to cut off 45mm from one of the 45 degree silicon hose bends. Once removed, we're going to connect this 45mm offcut to our temperature sensor hose joiner before adding two of our Jubilee clips along with our BMW end, like so. Be sure that the BMW end pin is positioned at a 90 degree angle to the temperature sensor hole. Our shortened 45 degree silicon bend is now connected to the temperature sensor hose joiner and now we can connect the remainder of our top hose. It's important to note the position of the Jubilee clips here, as this will ensure each section of our hose is connected securely and easily accessible in the future. Moving on to our bottom radiator hose now, which consists of one 90 degree silicon hose bend two 45 degree silicon hose bends, one BMW hose end, one aluminium joiner, and one aluminium pipe. We start by removing 50 mil from one of our 45 degree silicon hose bends. This 50 mil offcut will not be required and can be discarded. The aluminium joiner and BMW hose end are now attached to this modified section of hose with the BMW hose end added to the uncut end. We can now add our 90 degree bend, aluminium pipe and remaining 45 degree silicon hose bend.
Remember that each section of our bottom hose will also need to be fitted with Jubilee clips, as shown. We're now ready to fit our top and bottom radiator hoses. It's advisable to use some WD-40 when fitting both the hoses to the radiator, as this may be a tight fit. The BMW ends of both top and bottom radiator hoses are connected to the engine and secured using the pins attached. Our bottom hose is fed underneath the steering rack. Once both of our top and bottom hoses are in position, it's now time to tighten up all of our Jubilee clips, which will ensure that all sections of both the top and bottom radiator hoses are connected together securely. The final stage of installing our cooling system is to assemble and fit our two small heating pipes. The first of which consists of one 1 meter silicon hose, one 90 degree silicon hose bend, one bleed valve, one BMW hose end, one heater valve, one 19 to 16 silicon hose reducer, and one 90 degree plastic elbow. We start by cutting the one meter length of silicon hose in half at 500 mil. Next, we attach our BMW end to the 19 mil end of our 1619 reducer. We now add our heater valve 90 degree silicon hose and bleed valve before attaching one of our newly cut sections of 16 mil silicon hose. This hose is then finished off with a 90 degree 15 mil plastic elbow. Once assembled, we're going to take the second 500 mil section of our 16 mil hose and cut two 140 mil sections from it. The first of these can now be attached to our first heater pipe, and the second 140mm section will be used for our second heater pipe, which we are now ready to assemble. Our second heater pipe consists of one 1m silicon hose, one 180 degree silicon hose bend, one BMW hose end, one plastic T piece, one 90 degree plastic elbow and the 140mm offcut of silicon hose from our first heater pipe. We're going to start by cutting our meter length of silicon hose at the 610mm mark. Next, we apply some WD-40 to our BMW end and attach it to our 180 degree silicon hose bend. And now we can connect our T-piece followed by both our 610mm length of silicon hose and our 90 degree 19mm plastic elbow. We then need to push the 140mm length of 16mm silicon hose onto our 90mm plastic elbow. You may need some WD-40 to help with this. The remaining 290mm offcut of the 19mm silicon hose can now be fitted to the T-piece. Once we've established the shape of our hose, we can now attach all of our Jubilee clips and prepare both heater pipes for fitting. We're now ready to attach our heater pipes to the engine and chassis. When our heater pipes are in place, be sure to tighten each Jubilee clip to a secure fit.
With our system now securely in place, we can now move on to installing our heater and air conditioning system.